Finally, Ocean Protocol version 3 will be out. What is going on guys, this is X here of Magnum Crypto and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be covering the new release from Ocean Protocol version 3, a very very important milestone for Ocean. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of technical analysis just to finish this off. So before we get started, a bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I've also made a course for beginners, completely free. A uh, link for that is in the description where you can learn all about cryptocurrency. And I've also got a private telegram group where I put my um, weekly insight, weekly technicals, chart work and everything else. I put a lot of value into that. So a link for that is in the description as well. Um, but with that out of the way, let's get started on um, Ocean Protocol version 3, which will be um, releasing tomorrow in the next 24 hours. So firstly, if you don't know what Ocean Protocol is, um, I have done a couple of videos on it um, and you should see a link coming up any second now. It's essentially a marketplace or project where they want to give you uh, the data owners, the ability to actually sell your data to monetize it um, in a secure and efficient manner. So they're providing the technology so that um, you, a just a normal person or a corporation or a company who has a load of data available, which, which one can actually monetize, they're providing the technology for you to actually monetize that data. Um, because, you know, in this generation where the internet is widespread, the internet or uh, data has actually become um, a asset, a resource, uh, which is very, very valuable. So Ocean, um, Ocean's mission is to give you the ability to actually monetize this data, which is sitting on people's PC, on corporations' PC, companies' PCs or computers, servers, uh, sitting there idle, not being used, not being um, actually monetized. So they're going to be, they're giving you the ability to do that. Um, that's essentially the, the gist of it, uh, using their technology, obviously. So essentially, in the previous release, version 2, uh, this is just a bit of kind of recap, they released the ability to do something called compute to data. Now let's read this and actually explain what it is. So the benefits of private data uh, is it can help with research, it can lead to life altering innovations in science and technology. Um, but the risk of, of private data, which we all have, is sharing or selling private data comes with risk. Um, what if you don't get hired because of your private medical history? Um, what if you're persecuted for um, private life choices, large organizations um, that have massive data sets to know that data is valuable and potentially monetizable, but do not, do not pursue the opportunity for risk of data escaping and the related liability. To, re to resolve the trade-off, um, you know, the idea of behind computer data is let the data stay on premise, yet allow third parties to run specific compute jobs on it to get useful analytic results like averaging or building on an AI model. The analytics the results help in science, technology, or business context, yet the compute is suf sufficiently aggregating or anonymizing, anonymizing uh, that the privacy risk is minimized. So that is obviously the uh, one very, very key part um, of what they're doing and, and how they're solving it. Uh, which is the fact that they, uh, the compute part is sufficiently aggregating or anonymizing the, um, that the privacy risk is minimized. So, you know, the kind of sensitive data doesn't actually get, um, you know, sold or exposed. It just gets used uh, for analytic purposes um, or for to improve AI models. Um, so share or sell. Compute to data is meant to be useful for data sharing in science or technology context. It's also meant to be useful for selling private data while preserving privacy. 
This might look like a paradox at first glance, but it's not. The private data isn't directly sold, rather specific areas or specific access to it is sold access for compute eyes only rather than human eyes. So compute to data in data marketplaces is an opportunity for companies to monetize their data sets. So again, the the key part of there is for compute eyes only rather than human eyes. So you know, this is not going to be data that will be sold to individuals which can then use people's sensitive data for their own purpose. It will be for compute purposes um, where it will be used for analytics, as I mentioned, and for AI models. Um, so the actual value in it can be used for the greater good in a safe and efficient manner. Very, very key. And this was version two. So version three, the key part here is version three is based on data tokens where each data service has its own ERC20 token. This means that the ERC20 exchange can serve as a data marketplace. The data tokens blog um, post explored this. They can be a, um, automatic, uh, automated market makers or decentralized exchanges, order book DEXs, order book uh, centralized exchanges and more. That was a lot. Um, this post introduces Ocean Market, an open source community marketplace for data. So that's what they're releasing in version three, the Ocean Market, which is um, completely decentralized, a, a marketplace where someone who wants to provide data, so the data provider can do this at the marketplace. So someone who wants to sell their data can do so on this ocean marketplace and someone who wants to buy data can can come to this location <laughs> can come to this um, marketplace to buy the data um, and this is again as I said completely decentralized uh, it's completely secure um, so it's it's absolutely fantastic um, so it's currently in private beta and it will be made publicly available as part of the version three release in less than 24 hours. So um, I'll leave links for these articles in the description if you want to read all of it, um, I would recommend you do so. So publishing, amount, uh, publishing amounts to an initial data offering. So, um, you know, obviously we had security token offerings, we had initial coin offerings. This is essentially, you know, let's say you want to sell your data you would bring it to the ocean marketplace, marketplace and essentially once you publish your data people will essentially essentially offer offer money for it um, and a, a price discovery period will begin where you know a uh, price will be set for the um, data but there's also an op another option where the data owner can actually um, set their own price so there's also that option. Uh, it can be of personal data, business data, whatever they, they, the user has access and rights to. It can be open data uh, with extra value added, such as tags or labeling. Um, they, data publishers monetize by selling the data directly. For enterprises, data can be previously a cost center and can now be an asset on the books because of the AMM has established its price. So they envision many data marketplaces. Ocean Market is merely one of these. Um, developers can build their own ocean powered market by either forking Ocean Market as it's open source or build their own using Ocean tools like React Books or JS Library, etc. Um, however, one thing you have to bear in mind is those these kind of third, third party marketplaces that will be, um, you know, popping up uh, it may be somewhat centralized and it may actually um, have some of your encryption details to the data so there's element of risk there if you're using a centralized third party marketplace instead of an open sourced decentralized um, ocean marketplace as an example so people need to bear that in mind so I'm not going to go into the full article but that's essentially the um, gist of it so ocean version 3 is mainly regarding uh, data tokens. Firstly, which is the is the token that will give people access to 
um, people's data sets and also from the publisher's point of view from the data owner's point of view uh, that is the method as to which you'll be able to monetize your data and also the part of the release is about the ocean marketplace and open source decentralized data marketplace uh, where you know it connects the data owners and the buyers of data and this is um, all the version 3 posts regarding or all the posts regarding version 3 for you to peruse I covered actually a couple of these in some of my videos um, so I'll leave a link to that as well so now to finish off with some technical analysis um, as you can see on the weekly time frame um, we seem to have made a bottom here at around 30 cents and that was only a few weeks ago um, since then we've rallied very strongly up into the next one of the next um, resistance levels or zones at around 45 cents um, this was most likely due to the anticipation of um, the version 3 release I'll be honest um, until we closed above this uh, resistance level at around 41 cents I wasn't convinced of um, this rally now that we've closed there for a few days I am more convinced of, of this rally um, especially if we're closing above this resistance level at around 45 cents that would be very bullish um, but what I'm looking for as well is to actually make some successive higher highs and higher lows so we, we made a, a swing low over here uh, but since then you know we've made it somewhat of a, a low but we haven't actually made some higher highs so until we get into that kind of pattern um, I'm, I'm not 100% convinced with what the charts are saying volume has been decent though you can see that we've had uh, several um, positive um, days of volume so that is a good indication if we can continue this um, I'll be more bullish on ocean and the other thing I'm looking for is definitely a retest of this um, resistant line at around 41, 41 cents. Um, and then again, I'm looking at this level right here. Let's see how Ocean performs in the next few days. Another thing, um, now that I'm looking at um, crypto ratios, let's have a look at Ocean in comparison to ETH. So you can see that it's actually performed very well in the last few days as you can see from here and as I mentioned in my previous video when you're looking at ratios this is comparing uh, the um, performance of Ocean against BTC versus ETH and BTC obviously ETH is the altcoin leader so you know you can see how well it's doing uh, against each other so right now it's it's broken out of this you know downwards channel or, or falling falling uh, wedge and it's rallying quite well um, so this is a good indication uh, we, we may end up going on a good rally uh, according to this you can see that there's been a lot of channels in um, this kind of crypto ratios in in oceans ratios so it could be that we end up going on a rally like this and like this every time it breaks out of one of these kind of channels it ends up going on a rally apart from this however that led to a massive rally so let's let's see how how ocean does now so that'll be all for this video um i hope you got some value from that and i will see you in the next one peace